hello guys welcome to my channel my name is joseph benson and in today's video i will be showing you my home built helicopter uh telero to share box and to be honest with you this is something very very unique and different well before we start if today's your first time here make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification icon so if i have a new video you will be notified you know if you like this video definitely you are telling youtube algorithm that this video is very important and they can place this video to as many people in search of um ultralight helicopter um tail roto jabbox and that is it so i will be showing you a quick walk around on my homemade or home built jabbox for ultralight helicopter so without further ado let's dive in and i'll show you all i've done with this well uh this is a kind of um this is an angle grinder um six inch angle grinder um head and this is how it is you can see I've gotten this from an angle grinder and this is so unique and different and I construct this jar box out of angle grinder and it works 100% and so this is the tail roto head okay this is the tail roto my tail now my home build tail roto head and this is a ball beard in any way um, this is a pitch control uh, this and these are the pitch control that will uh, cause pitch on the two blades here and here okay and if any input from the control from the pedals in front of uh, the helicopter any input from the pedals from the pilots will affect this and immediately affect this definitely it must affect the blades somewhere around here and just the way i said earlier this is uh i got this from angle angle grinder and it's working very very fine so you can do that at your own spare time this is an angle grinder uh uh heads and to be honest with you um the angle render is a good one if you can use you can easily use angle render heads six inches angle render for an ultralight uh telro to gear box and it works 100 percent so the input is okay very very okay based on how i see it and and it's so unique so sorry i'm using one hand to record this and the other hand i'm using it to show you this i'm using one hand with to hold the camera and the other hand i'm showing you this so if i didn't explain this properly please don't be offended because uh, it's not quite easy for me to be recording this and also be showing you this holding the camera on one hand so this is beautiful and unique this is quite different and guys this is awesome okay this is way too awesome so you can use this to any home build ultralight helicopter and it work it can work very very effective so today i decided to show you guys how this really work and sorry once again i'm just saying that that i'm using one hand to show you this and the other hand to hold the camera this is how this is um the input uh, this is independently uh, very very independently i don't know how to put it so you understand it but i hope uh, it's easy for you to construct your space on what you just see and at your own discretion you you can use your angle grinder your spare angle grinder that is not okay and you can decide to construct it and convert it into an ultra light helicopter tail rotor jabbers and those are the knots to hold and not to hold uh the blades to blade and the space here is enough for a pitch i have a lot of drawings pertaining this um tail rotor jabbers and i will be keeping the drawing in one of the videos so you can be able to download and also use it to your own advantage so this is quite different and unique and i don't know i'm just trying my best let me just like put it somewhere here around the wall and lay it on the wall like this still the same even if i do that sorry because i'm using one hand once again but i just want you guys to see how how effective this is and this is how beautiful it is so at your own time you can decide it to like construct this beautiful um uh gear box get from your uh angle grinder and you can use it anytime to uh on your helicopter and it works very very fine on the next video i'm going to show you the position how you can easily position position this tail rotor gear box on your tail boom on your ultralight helicopter tail boom and you see everything so without further ado let me just uh show you how you're going to connect the whole thing okay step by step okay um this is the tail boom just the way i show you earlier that's the tail boom so i just want to give you a quick walk around right now i'm not the one holding the camera again uh holding the the gear box it's one of my 
uh, assistant that is holding the gearbox. So this is how the gearbox will be installed to the shaft that will get power from the engine from the other ends. And this, uh, the gearbox will be connected somewhere here via a coupling, okay? And any power from this shaft definitely will turn. Uh, you can see the way the effect is automatically. So any turn from this will effect this and will turn the blade at the other end. Let me just go back and show you how uh, this other end is. So you can see this is how this is the, the tail rotor head. And it's so unique. This is the tail rotor head. And this is the gearbox we got from six inches angle grinder uh angle grinder yes and please sorry if this video has a poor quality uh pardon me because um uh, it's not easy for me to uh, be recording and at the same time since i'm a little bit busy with my schedule okay so this is how i just want to show you this guy show you guys how this is done just like a demonstration well at the end of the day when we are done with the construction of this ultralight home built helicopter and you see everything being fixed and tested and you verify it on by yourself and see how effective how uh, this is now. So you can see the way he, as he was turning this. Definitely, that is how the whole thing will be. Okay, that's how the whole thing will be if the engine is turning it uh, this way. And that is how the whole um, angle render works very very fine. So uh, if you don't have money to buy a gearbox, um, uh, ultra light uh, micro or micro light helicopter gearbox. You can decide to use something like this at your own spare time and you can convert it to a tail rotor gear box and it works 100 percent so that is it guys again um this is a tail boom again i've done video on this tail boom before and i've showed you the video previously about this ultralight helicopter and remember everything i'm doing is about um it's home built helicopter and i didn't import any part i was constructing all the parts step by step um just to get it to this particular level we are today here and this is how beautiful uh, the whole thing is. And, and this is how the jab box will be installed. So pardon me, we're going to remove this now. So we remove it and we'll bring it here. And again, we'll just give you a quick walk around on the jab box again. And this is jab box once again. Remember what I told you earlier? This is being gotten from uh, uh, six inches angle rod, angle grinder, I mean, sorry. We got this from six inches angle render, and it's very, it's very, very good for a kind of. Uh, you can use it for micro light helicopter. It can take up to about twelve thousand RPM resolution per minute, and yeah, it still remains standard and okay, and nothing will be wrong with it. So I decided to show you guys how you guys how this uh, 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 this gearbox is, and everything was made by. Me over here, we didn't import anything from anywhere. Now, uh, from the bearing installation and all the settings which done by us. And to be honest with you, this is quite different. This is uh, kind of creative because since we don't have money to really acquire a brand new one, so we decided to use. Um, I'm sorry, pulling this off. All right, sorry. And that's it. So you can see the other side. Sorry again. It's not easy for me to do this. All right, all right, all right. So that's it. That's it. So you can see it how it is from this side. That is it. So you can tell me what you feel about this uh, ultralight helicopter uh, tail rotor gearbox. Tell me what you feel about it in the comment section below. And if you have any addition or contribution to this tail rotor gearbox, you can also write to me in the comment section below. Thank you so much for your time. Please don't forget to like this video. Remember, because if you like this video, definitely you are telling YouTube algorithm that this video. It's very important and I can show it to as many people in search of the home build tail roto gearbox. Tell me what you feel about this video once again. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. I hope I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.